Hi guys, it's Sebastian here from Noble Frugal Studio and today I'm gonna to teach you guys how you can use visual effects in OpenTunes. Okay, so we're in a slightly different layout than we were in the last video, but seeing that I taught you guys how to make your different rooms in the last video, you guys should be able to understand um, basically what we're using here. Um, don't pay attention to these brushes, we'll go over those in another video. But this right here is just our regular style editor, and this right here is um, a level strip. So you, we're, not really, we're not really worried about those things. Um, right here, the tools are just in a different spot because I'm in a different room. But today I'm gonna teach you guys how you can use some effects that are gonna make this fire look absolutely awesome. So right now, off the get-go, I have a glow effect on it. And as you can see, um, it looks looks pretty, it's, it's, uh, it has, gives it a radiant appearance rather than just this normal fire playing right here where it looks kind of dull. Um, so I'm gonna teach you guys how you guys can do that. What I like to do is I like to hover over to this animation tab, um, the animation room for, the, that's actually the proper name for it. So, and then you ha hover over to this thing called effect schematic. Now, if you guys don't have this for any reason, what you guys can do is you can stay in the same room that you're in, go to windows, scroll down to schematic, and there you go, you have it right here. Make sure that you click, and if you don't have it like, say your schematic starts out looking like this where you see the table, the camera, and then it goes into all these things. Click this little button on the bottom right and you should have um, the, almost like an opposite view where you see the layers going into the, going into the um, X sheet rather than the, um, the uh, table going to later. So we're gonna, we're, we're looking for this view. Um, ignore all the layers I have right now. This, I just been practicing how to draw fire for my short film. Um, without much success, probably a video on that later. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna take off this glow effect that I've already applied so that I can teach you guys how to do it. And I'm gonna take this, you see this fire layer? This is the layer we have, it's just some a looping um, fire animation. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hover over this, right click, insert effects. And we're gonna go down to light, and then we're gonna hit glow. Now, what you guys wanna become familiar with in this tutorial is one, the save all feature. I don't think I even mentioned saving in the last video. So there you go. File and hit save all. Always remember that because you have to save your stuff, especially with a program that's slightly, that can be slightly unstable like OpenTune. So what I want you guys to get familiar with is this render, this rendering um, thing right here. So this is basically what your, your effects won't appear in um, this non-rendered view, but when you cl click this eye to render it, it will appear, all the effects will appear. Basically, it'll take longer for your computer to render all the effects. So initially, we just got this blurry fire looking thing that doesn't look really that great. And if you're familiar with nodes and the way that they work in video editing software, perhaps you maybe come from Blender, then this will be a very familiar process to you. However, if you're new, it's, I'm gonna let you guys understand it too. So right now our fire is plugged into the light part of the glow effect. And if you double click this, you can get um, the parameters of the effect and all the, you can edit all these things. Like you can edit the fade, which makes it a little, little bit brighter, a little bit um, increase the brightness. You can actually edit the brightness itself if you put it to 150. You make see it changes the actual effect. I'm gonna put the blur down to 10 maybe. See, and then it becomes a little bit clearer. But now, right now, I want to do what I want you to do is I want you to take this, click this blue arrow, the end of it, and plug it into the source. And bam, look at our fire. It already looks way more radiant because now it we're telling OpenTunes that this is the source of the light. So um, I'm gonna click on this glow effect, right? And now we can edit it. I'm gonna put this blur up to 100 because I want it to, there we go, have that nice fiery, um, appearance so put the brightness down a little bit um maybe 50 there we go so we preserve some of that orange color um i'm not sure if the color is going to affect it that much but let's see if i let me change it to a red oh okay so, so it does change it changing it to a blue kind of makes it look starred because the it's on the opposite side of the color wheel but changing it to a red makes it look kind of fierce cool all right so yeah you can edit all these effects in open tunes you can just double click on the effect um you can edit all these parameters um, if you wanted to change color. Oh, okay, so fade is actual the color affecting um, the glow, and I really like that red look. It makes the fire look really menacing, but something I like even more than red is this um, purpley sort of um, hot pink. That, make, that's, that makes our fire look, um, look pretty awesome. Okay, so that's the glow effect. All you gotta do, and if you guys are having trouble, say you, you, you added the effect, right? And then it's not connected to anything, it's not showing. Um, what you have to do, make sure to do is to hit the layer that you want to affect, insert effects, light, and then hit hit glow. 
if you add effects by themselves, they're not going to show because they're not connected to anything. But if you do, you can still rig them up like how we did here. Like we can plug that in and then we have to make sure to plug this blue arrow in all the way, all the way down to this X sheet thing because plugging it into the X sheet, let me bring this up actually so it's easier, easier to understand. Plugging this into the X sheet is what is telling OpenTunes, okay, render this. So now we just added two glow effects to it. And we put this in source, it makes it even brighter. So that's basically the process here because the X sheet is plugged into the output. And the output is what you're finally going to render and have as a video. So you're telling the effect, the layer, what layers are naturally always plugged into the X sheet. As you can see, they're all leading to the X sheet. Basically what we're telling it is that before you get to the X sheet, apply this effect and then like when you're on your way basically so we have these two paths here light source they go into one path make it to the x sheet and then they apply these awesome effects okay so the glow effect is really really cool i want to show you guys another effect that's going to help you with a lot of your backgrounds so i'm going to hit delete on that and let's get a background in here okay so i just imported this background i'm going to drag the exposure all the way to the end put it right under this fire uh, let me see if we can oh here we go switch to columns there we go, so our fire will appear on top. Perfect. Now say that we want our fire to be the focus of the scene. Um, we're not paying attention to the, the background with the sun and the grass and everything. So what we, what filmmakers usually do is that they add uh, a blur effect so that you can focus. Now this is a very bad example of a, of a good blur effect. Um, I do have a better example, but I can't show you because they're in Castle Dark and I'm waiting to release it before you guys see everything. So, But you guys can see where this applies when you're using, it's kind of like that... Um, effect where the character, the main focus is really close to the camera and the background sort of blurred out so you know what to focus on. So we're gonna go to this background, it's on column 11. So let's find that. Column 11 is right here in our effects schematic. Let's right click that, insert effects, go to blur and blur. And there we go. So automatically get the you get the blur. You can hit, um, click double click that and, and set the parameters. I'm gonna make it 100. You can make it really, really blurry. Um, yeah, so definitely really, really useful just for a variety of things. Okay, so the next effect I want to go over is really, really exciting because this is actually my favorite effect in OpenTunes. I have an entire video on this. If you guys want to see that video, I'll put it up in the card for you because this effect is just awesome. Um, it makes everything look very, very professional. So um, you're definitely going to need your effect schematic for this. This effect is a little bit different than the other ones. It's going to behave a little differently. As long as you follow what I'm saying, you should be okay. So we're gonna hit add effects instead of insert effect because what this effect basically is going to achieve is making the sun look more radiant, making it look like the light is actually affecting um, the the grass in front. Basically, <laughs> it's gonna do some of the work for me because I didn't, I didn't paint that in. So I'm gonna hit um, right click add effect, go to light and then go to light spot. And as you can see, it gives us this, this box. So I'm gonna make this box sort of a square shape you'll see in a minute why I do this. Um, let's make sure to click on the layer. Make sure to click on the light spot in the effects tab so you can actually control it. I don't think it really works otherwise. So now it created a whole new layer. That's a little bit different than the other effects, isn't it? So let's hit render and see what it looks like. Um, wow, that's a very hideous light. So <laughs> uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this light. Um, we're, gonna, we're gonna add a glow effect because this light in tandem with the glow effect makes sort of a transparent light on scene effect. I can't really explain it, but you'll just see it. So let's let's go to insert effects on the light. Make sure you click the right click on the light, insert effect. Let's go to light, glow. Boom. Already the light looks 10 times better. Now let's go to the glow layer. We see all this stuff. Um, actually, we're going back to the light. If we can change the color. I'm gonna make it sort of a, a yellowish, a yellowish white. There we go, look at that. That looks awesome. So, wow, and then if we make this, let me make this a little bit smaller so you can actually see. That looks spectacular, guys. Um, wow, already adds a bunch of realism to the scene. You can see the brightness of that sun. If you make it even smaller, maybe we can see some more of the painting. And it just gives it this radiance that you can't really, uh, That that's just the, the VFX. You can't really, um, sometimes you can't really replicate them in, um, in painting, which is awesome. Um, especially, well, if you're really good, of course you can, but um, this way you can edit it and change its effects. Say you want the sun flashing, you can change its effects using keyframes. So I will address keyframes in another video simply because they're kind of complicated and I want you guys to digest this whole effects thing first before I get into using keyframes and stuff like that, just so this tutorial can stay concise and you guys can, can understand it. But um, 
there's is one more effect that I want to show you guys. I really encourage you guys to just go head on with these effects and just pra um, practice using them and um, experimenting with different effects and discovering new ones because it's really, really fun to do. But there's one effect that I really would like to show you guys that I found when I was making this video. So I'm gonna go back to this fire um, thing right here. And this one's just amazing. I'm gonna go insert effects, go to light, or I'm gonna go to ray lit. This one's a little bit weird. Did you see that? It just popped up. Wow, what even is this? Um, I'm gonna take that off. Make sure I hit the Raylit effect. Just a little tiny dot that's in the center of the fire painty layer. Drag that to the center of the fire because that's gonna be the center of our, of our ray litness. Um, we can edit the color here. I'm gonna make it a sort of like a maybe, uh, let's make it a very whitish, whitish orange. Hit render. That looks kind of weird, doesn't it? Now let's let it play while rendering. So it's rendering a little bit right now. And as you can see, it's using the fire, um, the animation of fire to make this strange Raylit effect. Now let's play it, let's loop it. Look at that, that looks crazy guys. So it's this fire animation playing with a Raylit effect makes it look insane. So definitely go out and experiment with these effects guys. There's so many of them in OpenTunes and their OpenTunes is completely free guys. Go out and explore. This is, this is, this is awesome. So if you guys want to see a follow up to this video, exploring more effects, how to use them, um, especially generated effects like smoke and fire, definitely leave a comment below. The follow up video will probably be about how to program your effects using keyframes so they can occur in certain ways at a certain time. Um, that will be very useful for things like fire and, you know, general animation purposes. If you guys are excited for this keyframe tutorial, leave a like on the video. Otherwise, if you have questions about this video, definitely go into the description and join my Discord channel. We have a whole questions um, channel there where you guys can ask all your questions. And that way I can actually help you using screenshots and things like that instead of the YouTube comments when don't, which don't allow me to do any of that. So definitely join my Discord if you have any questions. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Hope it helped and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.